You've been around the wrong for analogy ages. though, Jamie. Because pyramids, shite. pyramids are impressive and yeah. they're respectable. Pyramids are not impressive. Don't chat to me about pyramids, mate. Are you the triangles. I've got beef with tribute sacks. I think they're the, the, the lowest form of human being. Hey, so I don't know how they look the family in the eyes. Oh, I'm Gary Barlow tonight in Wigan. No, you're not. You're John and uh, you're a cunt. I don't agree with seeing it. You don't agree with seeing it? <laughs> People who take a... Oh, just crawled up uh, fucking Ben Nevis. Look at the view. I've crawled up a view. Oh, on. oh, I'll get it on a fridge magnet. The fuck are you doing in my view? How long did you go camping for? Three nights the weekend. Because that's all a human can take until you're fucking <laughs> sick of it and you want a bed again. Camping yeah. is shite. Okay. It always yeah. will be. And you don't like it. I do You like pretending okay. to like it. You like, you like having some sort of personality that seems interesting. It's pathetic. <laughs> So I've got no likability. Do you know when it's like when you've lost that and people don't like you? Because mm. you can struggle and you've got likability like you do. Um. <laughs> so he walks on stage and he goes, Cancer! <laughs> right. Right. No. Am I on after him? <laughs> She goes, yeah, that's why we've booked you. And I went, what do you mean? She goes, you're here to cheer everyone up. <laughs> right. <laughs> I host a podcast called Have a Word, which is so much better than this one. Like, it's infinitely, like, it's more professional. He's not there. <laughs> What's happening, everyone? Uh, thanks for downloading Hot Water's Green Room podcast. Before we kick off with today's fantastic episode, I just want to let you know how you can support the podcast. You can join up uh, as a YouTube member at Hot, Wa- Hot Water Comedy on YouTube. Sign up to be a podcast member for £3 a month. You get early access to the public episodes and a bonus episode each week. Not only that, you'll get access to all of the podcasts that are coming on the Hot Water podcast community channel it's going to be the place to come for podcasts in the northwest hope you enjoy the episode thank you Believe hot water and pin their hopes on you, you know. (laughs) 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 Are are the levels okay? (laughs) I just just don't even know what it means. I just just say (laughs) something. Are we good? Right, let me press play on me stopwatch. Um, are we good? Good. Let me just stop that. No, okay. Yeah, you don't want those seven seconds. <laughs> <in. laughs> Hello! <I'm>, uh, <laughs> Hello! <laughs> right. You've got to leave that in. You've got to leave it in. Let me do my instructions. Okay, yeah, come on. Hello, thanks for... <laughs> Thanks for downloading Hot Water Screen Room Podcast with me, your host, Jamie Hutchinson, and uh, guest, guest co-host, Callum Oakley. You all right, mate? Hello. Just put that <laughs> there. And uh, a very special guest, Mr. Adam Rowe. Thanks for coming down. How are we? Yeah. How was that intro? <laughs> that good, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. right uh, so what's your writing process? What I do is I get on stage mm. and I just riff. Sound. All right, well, more next week when we've got... <laughs> I'm in a I'm in a dead childish mood. Is that because we've been out since four o'clock? That's because we've been out since four o'clock and because he's in my peripheral <laughs> and he's doing me edit. I haven't done anything yeah, yeah, yet. Yeah. Uh, I made Callum's shit joke work before. No, you didn't. 
No, you did call him shit joke and it didn't work again. <laughs> I thought it worked. Mm. It worked better than the other night. Oh, yeah. 100%. Uh, yeah. <laughs> fucking oh, killed me. Very low bar. You are. How bad uh, did it go the other night? <laughs> it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my life. Because have you ever seen a comic on a clothes in Iraq night? Where he's meant to be the, from the new axe. Where he's meant to be the experience and the new axe like oh. <laughs> 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 That's heavy that. There's nothing better in uh, comedy yeah. than watching an act you respect mm. do very badly. He doesn't respect me. <laughs> no, I don't respect him. <laughs> and a close second is watching a friend you don't respect. <laughs> Someone you consider to be pathetic <laughs> and wasting their life chasing a dream. <laughs> oh, so funny. So he, he died on he died oh. on his hoop um, oh. at New Mac night, and it was proper awkward. And I was fucking dying. And that's a sign of when you've got a mate in comedy. Yeah, is if someone comes off stage and dies, and you go, ah, n- never mind. Like we're acquaintances. If someone takes a piss out of here for dying, which you've done with me, and I've oh, done many with you, times. Yeah. That is. Your that's friendship. Do you know what yeah. I mean? That's a kinship. Um he died on his ass with a joke and I had to go on and open with it tonight as a dare. <laughs> I bet him a hundred quid. Not forgetting how much he needs the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he can write my next set of you know, <laughs> Oh please, can we buy a set for you to do? Yeah, absolutely. For the him. right price. I don't give a fuck. I'll sell anything. When was the last time you died? Died, died. Uh, died, died. Wow. Um, that crisp one is a bad one. That was relatively... Uh, just the Tonic Reading. So just the oh, Tonic... All oh, like mate. There, yeah. But it was like my third... So just the Tonic are a big, you know, comedy promoter. And you're like, oh, just, just in with him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Oh, mate. So I go on. It was, <laughs> and I, I'm in a run of doing really well. And I'm arrogant anyway. So I'm proper like... Fucking cocktail, you fucking London cunt. I'll fucking knock you out of the water. <laughs> Went on to absolute apathy. So I took the piss out of, out, out of um, a stag do on the front row. And the stag do said, What are you doing that for? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know. <laughs> I just thought that's the done thing. I've seen other people do it. Thought I was meant to. I, <laughs> but I understand why you're upset. Uh, I ended, you don't want to be called a cunt. I, <laughs> you're on a night out. <laughs> that's the greatest weekend of your life. <laughs> and you've paid me to entertain you. And I've no, said you've got the ice gem here, God. I understand the upset. Now that you've pointed out how ridiculous what we do for a living is. So I've got no likability. Do you know when it's like when you've lost that and people don't like you? Because mm. you can struggle and you've got likability like you do. Um, <laughs> you've got natural likability, so you get away with murder. There's a lot of audiences who don't want to hate Callum, but they still find a, they still find a way. I feel like this is the roast of Gallum on this. <laughs> so I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, dying, and like they just don't like oh. me. Do you know what I mean? They yeah. just, I can tell. And I, I, I close. I used to close with this bit where I didn't get picked for the football team, so I played rugby instead. Like it's, you know, it was class in 2016 and that. Yeah, and, it um, sounds it. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, so I didn't. <laughs> so I, I went. So I didn't get picked to the football team, and this person in the crowd just went, "No, you're joking. Tell, <laughs> tell us more." I went, "Oh my god, it absolutely just ate me away because I couldn't. I, I didn't have the authority to put them down. I just built up no likability, no fucking goodwill in the room. Just had to eat shit for twenty minutes, and Adam Bloom was on." And so, like, I have a, a hilarious opening joke where I compare me at, compare my hairline to EasyJet, Orange Shit Airline. It's fire wordplay. Thank you. Are I, you putting that out on the podcast? No, Can't do that on your live shows anymore now. Oh, so I, I can do it without it. I've got this new purse bit that I'm working on. <laughs> <laughs> Work tonight, though. <laughs> so, I, I, I used to go on, I'll just explain my head. My head's like uh, an air, EasyJet. <laughs> Shit airline, and I went backstage, and Adam Bloom went, "What was all that anti-comedy you did at the start, calling your head a head, an airport?" 
Well, no, it's airline jokes, hairline, airline. He went, oh. <laughs> oh. His favourite bit about that is he is... So Adam Bloom's one of the best comedians this country's maybe ever produced, but he's... And I hope I'm not diagnosing him if he's watching this. Quite clearly autistic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he's quite... Spectrum. He's looked at your head and gone... <laughs> <laughs> He's one he of us. He means a runway. <laughs> <laughs> His head looks like it does discount ciggies. <laughs> he, he, he can't possibly be knocking the H off hairline. No, 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 no. He's doing two for a fiver on sheer bags of M&M's. <laughs> Shout out Adam Bloom. Uh, yeah, so that's a, that's a club death draw where you feel it and you're like, ah, oh, this is like... It's always worse when it's a proper set, though. Don't you in a trial for... Yeah. I, I still see every... Gig with a uh, just a tonic, glee, hot water. As still a bit of a trial. I don't want to completely. You're always on it. trial. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. As a comma, you, you're on trial. You, you you get to a point where they're gonna want you because you'll sell them tickets, I suppose. But you're on trial forever, and I always treated it that way. I w- if I was in the middle, I was like, I've got to be so much better than the opener that mm-hmm. they're like, well, that was the wrong way around. Um, the hardest spot to jump from is opening to closing because mm. you've got to do so well at the start that you're better than the closer, which is hard. That opening's the hardest spot. Mm. Um, you've got the middle to follow it, who's you know has got the easiest spot. That direct comparison, that's the hardest jump to me. But you've got like as much as you want, you want everyone in the build to do well, but you want to be the best on the build. Oh no, I don't, I don't give a fine fuck about the rest of the build, mate. I'm fucking bullseye. You, you're the fucking pyramid, mate. Just because you've been round for ages, don't mean you're any fucking special, mate. Built on slaves. Like, like I don't give pyramids. a flying. Fuck. Built on slaves. Yeah. Which comic was built on <laughs> slaves? <laughs> What's going on? Beat this out. <laughs> Who are you talking about? I just, I just ate. Dave I'm, Johns <laughs> built on slaves. <laughs> I just ate acts that have been round for ages and think the summit. Like fuck off, mate. You're the pyramid. What you're the pyramid. What, what's, you're what's pyramid. a pyramid. You've, you've, you've been got around the wrong for analogy ages. Analogy, though, Jamie. Because pyramids, shite. pyramids are impressive and yeah. they're respectable. Pyramids are not impressive. Don't chat to me about pyramids, mate. Are you the triangles. It's a no, pyramid, not no, a triangle. No. Not they are triangles, but they're not just triangles. Don't tell me you You've like just pyramids. relegated pyramids to fucking Doritos, <laughs> and they're not. No, You've just they defended are. the whole of Egypt. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Come at me. I'm what? You don't want that beef. <laughs> I'll smash Cairo, mate. I hate pyramids. I hate pyramids. I hate all the wonders, arguably. Like, fair play for being there. But it's people who take joy in saying, I like the pyramids. Why do you like the fucking pyramids? What have you got to do with the pyramids? Because they're an unfathomable feat of human... Slavery. No, it wasn't slaves, though, was it? It is. How many slaves does it take to pick up one of those fucking things? A million. Right. To the old pyramid. <laughs> what? Not even slaves. Oh, the owner of Hot Water Comedy Club said the slavery was paid. <laughs> oh, shock horror. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks for the Friday <laughs> Now nah, I I'm not impressed by things that are there. Do you know what I mean? It's Why pe- you expand. It, I mean, that makes no like watch it. It's people take credit for it being there because they go, "I've got a picture of the pyramid." Well, you're not the pyramid. I don't. Want, I don't want you in the picture. I do get that. People, I get that people, when people people vicariously live through the pyramids. I'm not, no. It's like people filming, like, at the match. You know when a caller yeah. gets taken and mm. people film it? I'm like, do you think you're going to get better footage than Sky Sports? <laughs> 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 like, who, who's that for? Exactly. Who's that video for? Who are you showing it to? Who's going to be impressed you've got that video? Mm. We either, This corner either leads to nothing, in which case it will be deleted by half-time. Or... It will lead to a goal that n- no one wants to watch your video of it. Uh, so I had an argument. I had an, argu- an argument <laughs> the other <laughs> week um, about scenery because I I don't agree with scenery. You don't agree with scenery. <laughs> <laughs> People who take a 
Oh, I've just crawled up uh, fucking Ben Nevis. Look at the view. I've crawled up a view. Oh, on, oh, I'll get it on a fridge magnet. The fuck are you doing in my view? You're you're not saying look at Ben Nevis. You're saying look at me. Yeah, they I've are. Climbed though. up a hill, but they're actually being quite honest about that. They're not. They're, say, they're not saying no, look at the view it. from Ben Nevis. They're going. I've climbed Ben Nevis. No, they hide it. Have you climbed Ben Nevis? No, they hide it. They hide it. What? They, they, they hide it by going beautiful view this morning, and you're just trying to say you're still in your fucking bed. Is it because you can't hike? Is it because you I feel can personally hide. attacked? You can't walk. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to see you half, like half up a mountain. You know, <laughs> you know what he did to me with Hal Velen when he made me think there was such thing as altitude yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, <laughs> <you're joking>? In- <laughs> so this sounds dead realistic, right? So for his birthday, he wanted to go up Hell Valley. What's it called? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hell Valley, isn't it? Hell Valley. And, um, Hell Valley. Like, where is it? Where is it? Isn't that a ride at Blackpool? <laughs> That's Valhalla. Sorry. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> In with his yogurt on a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Muller <laughs> Corner. That's me. Muller Corner on the Caterpillar. I would, though. <laughs> So anyway, we went to go up Hell Valley, and I hate camping. It's the most stupid thing any human can do. I'm with you on you're that. You're stupid. I'm with you on that. You're, you, you're, in the, you, you, you're actively paying for something that's worse than what you've got for free. Yeah. So, uh, I, I love that. love camping, me. No. You're not, you don't. No, no, you don't, don't. You, don't, you, you love, you love the, the experiences that come surrounding camping. You don't love being behind a fucking bed sheet with a few sticks holding it up in a fucking sleeping bag on the floor. You don't. I, I do. No, you don't. I do. You're lying. I'm not. You're not lying to me. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> I love outdoors. No. Yeah. You're not outdoors. <laughs> I am. You're not. You're in a fucking bin bag in a field in real. What are you talking about? Yeah, but it's outdoors. No, it isn't. It fuck, it's outdoors. Is there a door on the tent? Nah, it's a zip. Right. <laughs> so what classifies as a door? Like a handle and that. Right. There's a door. So that window, is it? What about an automatic door? There's no handles on there. Nah, I made you all stupid there. Yeah, it's true. Right. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not, I'm not sleeping in an automatic door. Like it's a tent. No, you're not, because that's impossible. <laughs> I'll give you that, right? <laughs> Can't sleep within an automatic door. But there's a door on the tent. You can stop being pedantic and stop trying to win the argument and be honest. The zip is a door and you are indoors. You're not outdoors when you're sleeping. I am outdoors. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. You can be Thank outdoors you. if you're telling me you're in a sleeping bag on the field, but you're not. Nobody you're within a tent. And, e- and even if you're saying you love outdoors... Oh, proper set them off. No, no, if, you're saying you, <laughs> if you're saying you love outdoors... I love the outdoors in the <laughs> yeah. day for a bit, yeah. right? But not like at night. You do not. You do not prefer lying on the floor in a sleeping bag and, and go, oh, I love the outdoors. Because why, why do you sleep in a house then? Yeah. Sleep on the street? You're outdoors then in a sleeping bag? Why aren't you on the streets of the Whittle? In a sleeping bag. Why? Singing because you prefer my, being indoors. Singing for You're my full of shit. shit. <laughs> no, but it's nice for like a, a night or like a weekend. No, it isn't. It is. No, it's, 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 I like it's it. unbelievably inconvenient. You don't. You, you portray the image where oh, I'm going to wear a yellow hoodie and talk about pieces. You do not like what half the thing. You're not even veggie. <laughs> you like the image of being who you Here's are. Here's a question. If you were going to Spain... Right? If you were going on all these to Spain or Portugal or South America, whatever, yeah. how long roughly would you go for? Go for a week, 10 days? Yeah. yeah. That's the average, isn't it? Mm. How long do you go camping for? Three nights, the weekend, because that's all a human can take until you're fucking <laughs> sick of it and you want a bed again. Camping yeah. is shite. Okay. It always yeah. will be. And you don't like it. I do. You like know. pretending okay. to like it. You like, you like having some sort of personality that seems interesting. It's pathetic. <laughs> I went camping with him. <laughs> yeah. So we did um, Trip Fest together. Oh. Yeah, in Hull. Yeah. 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 Oh, one you of the. It. No, <laughs> I can't do it on another podcast. I've got beef with tribute acts. I think they're the, the, the lowest form of human being. <laughs> I don't know how they look their family in the eyes. 
Oh, I'm Gary Barlow tonight in Wigan. <laughs> no, you're not. You're John and uh, you're a cunt. <sighs> Mate, listen, what are you it. talking about? I'm Gary Barlow. You're not. Half look at me here. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Do we... Uh... <laughs> You're uh, going through a divorce, John. Uh, <laughs> Stop pretending to be take that stars. We did uh, trip fest, so it's the first time we met. So we were like what eighteen months in, year two years in, maybe. Yeah, like that, yeah. So uh, we was driving down, and any any fucking band that came on, we was doing a faux fake. Uh, tribute band name so yeah. Red Hot Chili Peppers came out oh I've heard the uh, Mild Bell Peppers are playing and <laughs> we're having I, Oasis came and I went oh Ribena are on you know <laughs> we're having the time of our <laughs> lives we were fucking <sighs> screaming by the way I will take back everything I've said about tribute acts if there's an Oasis <laughs> tribute act called Ribena <laughs> so, any band that came on we were just saying dead genuinely there on and coming up with a stupid name that just didn't make any sense like the man laid her on and stuff like that just stupid anyway we get there <laughs> i i put my tent on upside down don't i don't know, I don't, I don't know how to do it. tents because i'm not a fucking nonce so i get my tent out it's, like, it's pop-up tent so right pop up then <laughs> and it popped up upside down so I'm trying to get in the roof. <laughs> and you didn't think to flip it? No. You were just like, oh. But that's how it pops out. This there was all right. families around and he's going, this is fucking shit. How do people go camping? And there's just these little kids I, like playing with balls. I, I crawled out of our fucking tent like the thing out of Alien, out of the woman's minge or whatever it was. I saw it back. <laughs> is it her back? Yeah, she has spare house over back. Oh no, the, the little egg aliens. Yeah, Sorry. I, I I burst out like this is dog shit, mate. Anyway, we we do the we do the. I I was on the gig on the first night and do that all that. I would smash it and that. <laughs> <laughs> The next, the, next, the next day, he comes up to me because I was doing better than him in that. The next, the next day, he comes. Oh, I'm a bit nervous about this trip fest gig and that. You know, like he's a bit within himself and stuff. Like, hey, listen, don't worry, I'm here. Uh, and I said, I said, you should do all that um, tribute band stuff we was talking about. I went, you went. Do you think that'll work? Do you think that'll work? I went. That will fly, mate. <laughs> so, he goes on stage. 200 tribute band devotees in a tent. He goes on. <laughs> Can't believe I'm a bit hungover. Uh, I went and saw uh, Pelvis last night. <laughs> Nothing. He went, uh, tell you what, he was better than them stereophonies. <laughs> Nothing, and, if I, and, it, and I can see the, you know, the one bead of sweat. Like oh, this, this reel of free has got to come out. Oh, yeah. Always do the rule of three, and it has got to commit. So he's gone, he's gone. Silence, quieter. And I'm like, right, so get me out. Look, I'm just looking forward to WD forty. What band's happening to you? UB forty. <laughs> And I've never heard. Why? 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 <laughs> <laughs> oh, they were so funny, you know. Absolutely, dark. Oh. And I'm, I nearly lost a lung laughing at how much he's dying on his ass. This is like the first time we've like yeah. met as well, and it was just straight away. Was that where he was met? Yeah. Well, we met like briefly, but we then. We met briefly. We'd... But I, I was in an eight spot at the frog, and he was just in the competition, so I had a bit of a. <laughs> yeah. You Such can shake your hand, but. You're not allowed to dream him. I mean, neither am I, but I'm closer. <laughs> When we were at the festival as well, um, it was a bit muddy and that, and he had no wellies. So we found oh. like we found like this little stall in the festival, 
and I ran over there quick to the guys. He's such a knobhead for selling these wellies. And uh, I went to him and went, hey, just say these are unisex for us. And he was like, oh, like he was a bit confused. And so he came over and went, hey, have you got any man- men's wellies? And he went, yeah, but we've got these, these are unisex. And it was black with like leopard prints on and it had a little buckle on the back. <laughs> I was walking around <laughs> like a Shield Road prostitute. <laughs> and he had the Mont right. So then we, and Elvis was on pelvis. And we were with Col Heavy. And um, he's like, never done drugs before at this festival. So I was like, hey, I'll get us some poppers. Because that's all we had. So we were all like sniffing poppers watching Elvis. And then this girl stood next to us. And that we, is the first <laughs> time that sentence has ever been said, by the way. Oh, yeah. In the history of the English language. <laughs> like, there's been, there's been thousands of years of English being a language. And no one has ever put the words, <laughs> we were all sniffing poppers watching Elvis, <laughs> back to back like that, ever. You've just, we've all just been part of a unique first moment there, as English speakers. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. So we were all there, and this girl come and stood next to us, and we just looked down, and she's got the same wellies on as him. <laughs> <laughs> so you should have used that and been like, to be this <laughs> uh, Unisex. I'm trying to raise a bit at the moment because um, one of my favourite things, so I've been single since January, and one mm. of my favourite things is talking to a girl in a bar who thinks I want to fuck her when I don't want to fuck her. It's just so funny to me. So it's even better if they're attractive because they're used to men wanting to fuck them. Mm. And if you've just got no interest, they, they don't normally deal don't with that. Don't have the ego, right? ego hit. So the other night, um, after me tour show in Manchester... Uh, come off stage I was a bit hungover from the night before and I said to Thomas who's been opening for me I was like lad we're not going to do a meet and greet tonight let's go and get straight in the car we'll be in the pub by half ten mm. we're in the pub Pogues by quarter past ten right Guinness 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 baby Guinness baby Guinness drinking went to Largo been to Largo before? Maybe, used to be to Largo yeah, yeah a so Largo's a, a proper proper dive bar it's not trying to be a oh, dive yeah, bar yeah, yeah. it's like oh, a modern but... dive bar it's the type of dive bar that the modern dive bars are <laughs> based away. on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? yeah it's a shit yeah. hole. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. great. This girl comes up to us at the bar, me and Thomas Southern had drinks. And she's just, so, she'd have fucked both of us. And we could have rang you too and been like, <laughs> this girl is up for a laugh here. Right? <laughs> up for a laugh. <laughs> right? She was so keen. But obviously, Thomas is in a very serious relationship. Yeah. And I just had, and she was attractive, but I just had no interest whatsoever. And I was up for the laugh. So I, she goes, she comes over, she goes, where are you guys from? Right? She's from Harrogate, right? So I just literally looked at Thomas and went, we're Irish, right? Thomas goes, I'm on it, right? So I was just like, we're from Dublin. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> where are you from yourself? <laughs> right? <laughs> so... She's like, oh, I'm from Harrogate. I'm like, do you live here? <laughs> she goes. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, I'm at uni. We're like, no way, Jesus Christ. Tommy, we've got a local. Right? I snatch. Snatch. Well, she's not deterred by what is performative mental illness. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So she starts, we were going, where did you suggest we go? We've been here since this morning. We're going to be here for a few days. Most people come on the weekends, of course. We were like, no, I want to experience a true Liverpoolian's way of seeing the city. Sunday to Wednesday. (laughs) (laughs) So she starts suggesting places. And like one of them was like up by here, like near the Philharmonic. The other one was like down by the docks. Mm. One of them's like in in the student bit. One of them's out towards Toki. And regardless of what she said, I just kept going to Thomas and going, that place is where, <laughs> it's near where we got the bagel. Right? <laughs> so at one point she goes, <laughs> she goes, there's a great bar called yeah, Papillion. The there's a great bar called Papillion. I was like, Toki, that's near where we got the bagel. And then she goes, <laughs> she goes, oh, there's a little Mexican place on the docks called Madre. I'm like, Tommy, I'm not going to believe it. Thomas, Thomas. Right around the corner from where we got the bagel. <laughs> I would have loved to see this. Oh, right? no. like, I'm not messing. This went on for so half an hour, 40 minutes. And eventually she just goes, how many bagels have you had? <laughs> and I went, 
We fucking love bagels. But watching her face, <laughs> recommending places that are on opposite spectrums of the city. Tommy! You're not going to believe it! It's right near where we got the bagel! I'm watching her with everyone go, these can't all be near the bagel place. <laughs> oh my God. Never feeling the need to go. Hang on, that's not possible based on what you said before. She waited till I'd done it eight times. How many bagels have you read? That's where we can be. That's like, that's a reference point. That's a landmark. Where are we going to be? Oh, fucking hell, that is hilarious. Excuse me, do you know how to get, do you know how to, get to Lime Street Station? Do you know the bagel shop? You want to start at the bagel shop? <laughs> it's like the new Bond Dog Church reference. <laughs> I'm crying out. <laughs> oh. But Joe, you um, when you said when you said like asking girls out who who don't, you're not even asking out. Have you ever said the time I got to get my hair cut? Oh, fucking hell, lad. What, what happened? I swear down. Got my hair cut off a bird, right? Yeah. It's like a proper salon type. So I was like, I've, I've only got... Own, I've Can I ask you a question? Mm. Do you still get your hair cut now? <laughs> <laughs> Genetics is put on a forum. <laughs> Look, I'm just going back. <laughs> or are I you s- trying to amass as much hair as possible? <laughs> <laughs> I swear down. When I get my hair cut, my barber has so much apathy for me (laughs) because I'm always in the window. And he hates cutting my hair because he sees me as a bad advert for his shop. (laughs) It's ridiculous, mate. Yeah, because to a passerby, they don't know it started with this. They look like the barber's made a mistake. (laughs) Passerby doesn't know you walked in like that. It look because you've got so much hair in the back. You've got so much. It looks like you've gone in with a full head of hair. And the barbers had like early onset Parkinson. You go, hey! Oh, when did Michael J. Fox open up now? <laughs> Fucking hell. Oh, so I was get I was get, this is <coughs> this is only had a good head of air. So we're talking, you know, fourteen, fifteen era. <laughs> you sound like long hair as well, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. I used to have a mullet. I used to have hair down there. Yeah. yeah you uh, could still grow a mullet though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you actually could. It's not the back it's not the back, that's the problem. Like, I I don't mean to be a cunt, but you've got the most ridiculous head of hair I've ever seen on a human. Like it's okay, so- I, I don't know why I could say that as a cunt. <laughs> you said it in a nice way, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, down your head. <laughs> You've got, like, Beckham's hair. I <laughs> have the, the front. You've got Jack Stams. <laughs> <laughs> I really have never seen it before. Oh, oh no. So, so, about girls who think you're asking them out, right? So, I'm getting my hair cut. Mm. And I go into a salon. Yeah. Because I don't have many hair cuts left. So I want everyone to be an experience for me. Mm. I'll get my hair cut. I'm having, you know, just fucking general chit-chat like you would mm. with uh, a hairdresser. And I just go, oh, what are you up to at the weekend? And she's halfway through my hair. So what are you up to this weekend? She's like, oh, I'll stop you there. We'll stop you there. <laughs> I've got a boyfriend. I'm very flattered. <laughs> I've got a boyfriend. But I weren't asking out. She looks like a fucking moose. Honestly, she looked like Shaka Hislop. Like, like what? The black goalie. 
She looked like Shaka Hislop. <laughs> I swear no. That's not racist, she did. Easy sell on Ashton. If you can't picture that, Sick have that. you watched Orange is the New Black? <laughs> <laughs> you know the main, the main one? Do you ever have one of those bumble balls as a kid? When you just press it and it fucking bounce around everywhere and it like spikes on it. Do you ever have one of them? That's what, that's what Shaka Islam's head looks like. I'm fucking done. <laughs> so she, she, look like she looks like if Whoopi Goldberg made a decision. <laughs> No. Oh no. No. So she she genuinely looked like Shaka Islop. It's not even bad. And she's I I saw her go, oh what you up to this station? Oh I'm really appreciate it, but I've got a boyfriend, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, we're asking you out. But because she's halfway through cutting my hair, mm. I thought she could make me look like a right mess. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Did you love her again? How did you upset her? <laughs> she assumed I was asking her out on a date. Yeah. I was like, I'm not asking <laughs> Deliso out for a date here. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> So I had to sit there, and as a gentleman, I had to pretend... Okay, the, the, sorry, but the worst thing about all of that is the people watching going, but at least looks not unlike Shaka Hislop. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Looks totally different. Oh, well, thanks to the people who wasn't. <laughs> no. Google it. Google it. Okay, no. So she's... She, this blonde girl is... Uh, <laughs> I'm trying to dig myself. <laughs> she, she, uh, she, she was, she was acting like I'd asked her out. Yeah. So I, instead of correcting her, because she was halfway through my hair and doing what I, uh, to make me look cheap, I pretended that she'd asked me out and I'd been rejected. So I was like, that you played for, along. Yeah, for all the way through the rest of the air I was like. You can't blame a guy for trying, can you? <laughs> oh, God, what was the golden puzzle like? No. <laughs> Stop making me say stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We've literally said nothing while you've been talking. Me. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Uh, Check how long we've done. Yeah. 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> oh my God. Is that it? I've got uh, a story. Ding, ding. You got a story? Sure. Is it 22 Do minutes long? <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. Part two. I had to have Go a Guinness on. poo. Yeah, I had to have a Guinness oh. poo. So where was we? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Presenting. It's fun the day after drinking Guinness, though. <laughs> yeah. Because you get to play a fun little game called Have I Got Bowel Cancer <laughs> or Have I Been Drinking Guinness? Why <laughs> is it black? <laughs> I've had blood in my poo. As been oh. years, I've had blood in my poo for a week and a half. But then... Well, then the poo or on the tissue? Both. Right. Just a bowl of red. Right, okay. Uh, but that was because I've been on my holidays and it was sangria. Right. And it cleared itself up. So if you've got blood in your poo, it'd probably be sound. Right. <laughs> um, 
the advice of Jamie Hutchinson is not the advice of Adam Rowe comedian, Callum Rowe comedian, Callum Rowe, Callum Rowe comedian, <laughs> or hot water comedy club. And please, if you do have blood in your poo, please see. <laughs> Seek medical attention as soon as possible. Uh, if Don't just look at it and go, oh, Jamie was fine. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, I shall. Uh, I was in, my, I was on my holidays on the Isle of Man. I had a lot of sangria. Didn't you go for a gig on a Tuesday? Yeah. <laughs> holidays. <laughs> <laughs> my holidays. Mm-hmm. So you had, a, you had a story before we went. <laughs> <laughs> you all right? No. He's not. No. I told you uh, the base of this story earlier. Mm. It was about the time I got booked to do. I haven't told this on Have a Word. Oh, yes. Exclusive. That's what the time sc- I got booked to do a poetry screaming. night. Oh, my God. This fault. Go on. So I, I forgot about mm. this story completely until recently. Yeah. So can I even tell the first half of the story? Yeah. Oh, 100%. Right. So I've been talking to this girl and she used to work for a magazine mm-hmm. um, she's in like media and advertising and stuff she used to work for a magazine and she got asked to go down to Leaf on Bold Street mm-hmm. and do a piece on their student poetry night so it's terrific yeah right and I'd forgot I'd done it I'd suppressed the memory like it, this would have come out in therapy this story right you know like they unlocked it and they're like oh my god remember that that's what happens in very <laughs> my god <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell so she You're went down to do a piece on it <laughs> and she has the same thing that I do yeah. that a lot of comics have which is anyone taking anything seriously is hilarious isn't it mm. so like at a funeral as a comic it, you just it's hard isn't it to yeah. not laugh he's the worst person in the world for it a hundred percent. You're related this month, anything. Yeah. So she she texts me this, and I felt even bad finding <laughs> it funny, yeah. right? So she texts me, and she's like, "And please don't hate me for what happened." And I was like, "Of course I won't hate you." She was like, "No, but you might though." So she's at this poetry night, nice, yeah. and it's like gets up to do a poem called "The Ninety Six, right? So it's about Hillsborough. Mm. Now, Liverpool fan, my scouser, my granddad was at Hillsborough. Got a lot of emotional ties to that. She explained the story where, like, one of the things in the poem was, and on the green is where they found your spleen, right? So you're talking, like, maybe the worst poem that's ever been written. So she tells this story of how people are being, like, moved by this poem, and she lost herself laughing. Like, she's <laughs> screaming, laughing, right? Not to leave. So I'm talking to her, and I'm like, that's, like... I understand why she was like Adam I'm not a scouser I'm in Liverpool and I'm laughing like mm. uncontrollably at this poem and it would have been the worst poem of all time if it wasn't about that yeah. in this city and then a light bulb went off and I was like oh my god so this is maybe nine years ago so I'm a, a few years into doing comedy and uh, I get asked do you want to do a gig at Leaf on Bold Street 120 quid Tuesday night mm. and I'm like I might do that now <laughs> yeah Right? Oh, it's it's five minutes from my house. Mm. Like, I was like, yeah. That was probably close to the most I'd been paid for a gig at the time, and I wasn't getting like, regularly more than that. Yes, yeah. midweek as well. Yeah. So I turned off. I didn't know it was poetry night, so I just got told. <laughs> oh, <she's laughs> no, it's poetry night. <laughs> right? So I turn off. <laughs> I was like, yeah. so it's poetry night. She goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <It's> she, go- <laughs> <laughs> she goes, yeah, yeah, shh, shh. Right? <laughs> And I'm like, right, there's 11 <laughs> poets on, oh. right? So the first 10 go on. Yeah. And it's dog shit, mm. but, the, you know, it's all like... Mm. <laughs> very well done. Mm. Tobias, it's good. Right. The 11th guy goes on. <laughs> yeah. Right? 11 guys. And he gets a reaction akin to, like... Remember when Mo Salah came back from the African Cup of Nations and the whole crowd was singing his name before he even came on? Yeah. Right. It was like that. So the room erupts, rapturous, and I went to the girl. And was just was like, it's the one they're here to see. So I'm like, oh, he's like the top poet in Liverpool. Mm. This will be great. <laughs> <laughs> so he got... I swear everything I'm about to tell you, including how I was introduced to stage, is almost verbatim. As best yeah. I can remember it. Mm. So he walks on stage and he goes, Cancer! <laughs> right. 
Nej. No. Kanton. So I look at the girl next to me, right, as if to go, what the fuck's going on? And she looks at me, and this is what she does. She goes. So right. So he starts doing this poem about cancer, yeah. and he's crying his eyes out. Like I don't mean laughing. Mm-hmm. He's like, so, and he's like muddling me. I went to her. I went to her. Love, what's going on? Right. She goes. His mum died of cancer three days ago, uh, uh, and they're all here for him. Right. So I went, right. I went. Am I on after him? <laughs> She goes, yeah, that's why we've booked you. And I went, what do you mean? She goes, you're here to cheer everyone up. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, I watched, the, <laughs> I watched the whole poem. People are like crying their eyes out, right? The MC goes back on, and he was an MC. He wasn't a compere. He was a master of ceremonies. He would go on stage and go, "That was Keith. Here's Kevin. Right? That was <laughs> right. That was his. That's all he would do." Oh, so he goes on stage, and he hugs Cancer Boy. Right? <laughs> he, he hugs him for what might have been. 10, 20 seconds. Yeah. It felt like four and a half hours. <laughs> right? Oh, no. He lets him go and he gets to the microphone. <laughs> so the mic's in the stand. Yeah. Right? And he's, he's like, oh my God. <laughs> to, I mean, to do that three days after Angela's passed. <laughs> I mean, wow. Anyway. And this is how he said it. Right. <laughs> All of this is true. <laughs> he goes, right. <sighs> to do that. <sighs> Three days after Angela passed. It's just. <laughs> anyway. Any re- I know a lot of you are first time this time, but like, any regulars, you'll know. Like Normally we're strictly poetry. But there's a comedian who wants to close the show. <laughs> wants to. Wants to. <laughs> oh. Right. Please welcome to the stage, Mr. Rowe. <laughs> So I went on. Oh, no. The story sort of fizzles out from here. There's no like big punchlines yeah, to the story. Yeah. I I didn't just die because dying is like is quiet, mm. but there was visible anger mm. because what's happened in their heads, right? So it's upstairs a leaf. It maybe holds eighty, maybe hundred people. I reckon on a normal post night to get twenty thirty. <laughs> no apology night. Maybe, but it's full. It's like. Turning people away full. People yeah, stood yeah. at the back. Because they're all there for fucking... Whatever his name was. Angela's son. <laughs> right? So, but they hadn't told them that they'd booked me. So in their heads, their nephew's gone on <laughs> and done this really heartfelt poem to rapturous applause and the whole room loving him. The MC. And then to them, to Auntie fucking Julie... So Angela's sister, who's, you know, grieving herself. They've gone, hey, did you enjoy Callum's poem? It was good, that one. Anyway, the comedian now, he's been watching. <laughs> to cheer you. <laughs> and he wants to come on. He wants to close the show. Desperately. Uh, he he's, watched, to. he's just watched that and gone. I think that's an amazing sage name. Mr. Rowe. Yeah, I love that. That's a great sage name. They were angry. Uh, and I was very, 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 very lucky that they'd paid me before I went on. Uh, they so paid one, me in cash when uh, I got there. One twenty on a Tuesday. It's one twenty on a fucking Tuesday. How long did you have to do? <laughs> I think I was meant to do 20. I think I did about 15. Yeah. But you got to remember, this is nine years ago, so I'm like two or three years into comedy. Mm. I had no second gear. Yeah. I had 20 minutes of jokes. Mm. And this is what I've got. Yeah. And, like, if that was now, I'd come out of it and be like, look, hey... What a situation! Uh, what a pickle we've got ourselves in here. Yeah. 
<laughs> you ain't expecting me. I don't want to be here. Yeah. This is horrific. <laughs> I had none of those gears back then. Yeah. I just had, here's what I do, and let's hope they like it. Yeah. And they hated me. I was uh, with the tribute band thing, because I was at, you know, Comedy Lounge in Hull. Yeah. A lot of their business model is tribute bands. So I did their weekend club, and it's not, it's a night, you know, it's an ice club that pays. <laughs> but it's, <laughs> but it's <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I've got it in June. <laughs> it's an ice club. It's a club that pays. But it's fucking, they have an upstairs where they sell predominantly tribute bands, don't they? Yeah. So I went down and <laughs> I was doing my weekend there. <laughs> and he went, uh, so I was going to put me coat in that in the green room. I went, hey, what are you doing? And I was just put my stuff in there. You can't use the green room. That's a George Michael. <laughs> but said George Michael. <laughs> so, <laughs> there's a story I can't get to work properly on stage. But I think... And it's a... It, so this is all true. So it was sort of just after lockdown, one or two, I can't remember. I went to do a gig in Brighton, right? It was Friday, Saturday, and the comedy club played for me hotel on the Friday, but not the Saturday. Mm. So the Saturday, I've got to spend all day in Brighton. There's two of yeah. So I went potting them around and whatever, and eventually I was like, I'm just going to go and sit in a pub, right? And what, one of my favourite things to do, if I'm having a pint on my own, is sit at the bar. It's the best bit. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. yeah. So I'm sat at the bar, I went, can I have a pint of Peroni, please, love, or a bottle of Peroni, whatever it is. And, like, there's an empty chair, and then another one that's got a guy on, because it was social distancing back then. <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he's to my left, actually, and he goes, oh, right, Scouser, are we? Right. And I went, yeah, are you? He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. Turns out he grew up on the, the road that my, the, my childhood road was Kelmsley Road in Liverpool. And it becomes, I think it's Winstone Road. And he lived on that road. And I was like, yeah. And he goes, what are you down, doing down in Brighton, lad? I've lived here 20 years, me. What are you doing down here? So I said, I'm a comic on a comedian. Hmm. And he goes, I swear to God, this is true. Right? And I, it won't work on stage. And I, like, it half works, but not to the standard that you need to keep. And he goes, oh, fucking embarrassing, that. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> went, it's a stronghold in. Uh, what do you mean? And he goes, fucking, how the fucking grown men dressed as superheroes, isn't <laughs> Right? I swear. Come here. Right? <laughs> so I went, what are you talking about? And he goes, y- you're going to Comic Con? A comedian? And I went, no. I'm a comic, a comedian. And I'm on at the comedy club. It's called Comedia. Yeah. Right. And he goes, oh, all oh, right. All oh, right, okay. Entertain comedian. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the entertainment industry myself. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this is where my tribute act bit comes from. Because right? he goes, I went, what do you do? And he goes, I'm Gary Barlow. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> I'm Gary Barlow. <laughs> <laughs> I went, what? He goes, yeah, I'm, I'm Gary, Gary Barlow. And I take that tribute band. <laughs> And I was like, the bit of size of the on stage is, how fucking ridiculous is it that this man, this grown man, has got the audacity yeah. to laugh at people dressing up like Superman? <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Because yeah. the people who go to Comic Con don't think they're Spider Man. <laughs> no, they so just bad. really like him. <laughs> and this fella had the absolute no. bollocks on him to look me in the eye and say the sentence. <laughs> I'm Gary Barlow. No way, that's not work on stage. It, it's, really? it, it's, it's just that's more so podcast funny, funny than, than stage mm. funny. So I had a similar experience. It's, it, you know, it's not as good as that, to be fair, so it's going to fucking fall a bit flat now. But <laughs> when, we went, when we went Trib Fest, we saw Daft Punk Tribute oh, fucking hell live. Man. Daft Punk Tribute. Two fellas in helmets... Pressing play and arsing about. So the next, uh, we watch it. Good laugh. That's on their posters, actually. <laughs> <laughs> That's that punk's poster. 
two fellas in helmets pressing play. <laughs> That's what it is. On sale now. <laughs> it's, it's honest to God. It's I, I can't. We was joking like, how'd you get away with that as a living putting it on, on pressing play? So anyway, the Sunday afternoon after, so we're all hung over. Everyone's packing away. The guy who runs the thing. No sense of humour about tribute bands. It's like, w- w- don't take the piss out of tribute bands. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I've invited you down, you've done comedy in the comedy tent. Don't take the piss out of tribute bands. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I went, you enjoyed your weekend? I went, yeah, 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 it's all, yeah, it's all right. You, know. <laughs> you, went, you went, you watched them last night? The, uh, you know, Daft Skunk, or whatever they're called. <laughs> you went, Daft <laughs> Skunk. <laughs> You watch, yeah. You watch, you watch Shelly Skunk. And, yeah, uh, I was, I was Daft Skunk. How, is that, how, how'd you find Daft Skunk then? I went, ah, oh, oh, yeah, it's decent, decent now, you know. And I went, so <laughs> easy. Press <shop>. play, let you. <laughs> I was Daft Punk Jibby, but I was like, uh, you, like, you, like, you like Daft Punk, you like Daft Punk Jibby. Get back, so, so, fucking so, Rushman's here, yeah, yeah. fucking sit back. So, so I, I went, went, oh, that's, so I said as a joke, went, oh, that's the easiest job in showbiz, mm. isn't it? Daft Punk Tribute Band, you know, for, you know, on press play. Easiest job in showbiz, Daft Punk Tribute Band, you went, eh, they double up as the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> 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 Sorry, lads. But also a gorilla's tribute band. <laughs> you see this cunt draw? I do Chili Manila and Chuckle Vision for the kids. <laughs> <sighs> oh, that was funny, that tribute festival. It's unreal you tribute. Fucking, oh, the, I can't, the, the I couldn't do it, me. No, it's great. I can't, I, I, yeah, 100%. Yeah. But there's something I struggle with. So you know you're talking before about like when comedians die on stage. <laughs> like if it's your mate, it's great, isn't yeah. it? Right? Yeah. But you know if like someone dies and I'm not mates with them, I can't be in the green room. Because no. I can't no. look them in the face and be like, oh, that was, no, it's all right, lad. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. Mm. It was all right. No, it was all right, though. I can't do that. We both know what's just happened. Yeah. Let's not no, talk about no. it, right? And tribute pans are the exact <laughs> same thing for me. In that we both know... Yeah. That nobody respects you, especially <laughs> me. So I'm not going to stand here yeah, in a I'm fucking bad. porter cabin, pouring my own coffee, telling you that you sound an awful <laughs> lot like Michael Bublé. <laughs> I just refuse so, to have that situation in my life. When I did the when I did the whole one, and it sold out George Michael up front, and sold forty tickets for the weekend comedy. And we was not allowed to use the green room. So we're all there with our coats looking like fucking mm. dickheads. And it's just overspill from George Michael. That's all we've got in the club. It's even like the tribute comedians as well. Oh, the tribute comedians. Like they're I, I they're not even worth talking about. <laughs> I love like, tri- uh, yeah, I tri- tribute them. music is pathetic. Yeah. Tribute comedy. Yeah. It, there's a there's a piece of case tribute act. I know that is I, someone I remembering them. someone remembering things. Right, I love them. So he <laughs> makes me that happy, you know. So when I was first starting out, I did um, Bradford New Comedian of the Year runner up, robbed. <laughs> and in my semi final heat, that Lee Lard closed as himself, who does Peter K. He's the most horrific punching down, just. Freddie Quinn without skill. Wow. And that's all. <laughs> that's a lot to say. So he's just proper bottom barrel, low hanging fruit, cunt. He's horrible. Anyway, I do the final. And, um, All right, you know, lad. You know, <laughs> All right, Fred. <laughs> no, you know. That's what you'd be like without skill. <laughs> bottom of the barrel, low hanging fruit, shite. Don't take it personally. <laughs> Low hanging chips. <laughs> Low hanging chips comedy. <laughs> oh. 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 
So I'm in the middle of this daylight robber of me getting robbed at this new Max you competition. Want, you want. Chris Cantrell, who's since gone on to do better things on my name. I'm only resting he's good. Uh, so he robbed me at this new Max thing. And it's a you know, round table round table event and every table's got an evening with Lee Lard, twenty five quid a ticket. Oh mate, unbelievable. So anyway, come second. You know, it's on crime watch if you want to catch it. <laughs> uh, at the end of the night, I'm at the bar having a beer, like consoling myself and that. This fella comes up to me, proper nice bloke. He was like, oh, you all right, mate? Uh, really like what you do. And I'm putting a charity night on. I just want to know how much it would be to book you. And I'm a year in, mm. so I don't even know what to ask for. So I'm like, oh, you know, fi- you know 50 quid. He went, Oh, that's great! That's that's great! That work that works with my budget, and he just goes, "Keep it under your hat." I've got Lee Lard for a grand. Oh. I went, oh, "What, <laughs> mate? Charging a grand ahead for, for just going on his butt? He's not got the charisma. He's not got even likability. He's got like he's, he's he'd do better as a Frankie Bile tribute act because he's." Yeah. A nast, na, like he's got a nastiness about him. If you were gonna pick a big name act to tribute his act, though, me, who would you oh, pick? Me, yeah. What would I sell as? What you? Johnny Vegas, I think. I yeah, you'd do, smash that. Do well. Yeah. 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 I'm a Jilly. I don't know. <laughs> you what? What did you say? <laughs> what well, your mum could do? I'm a Jilly. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the greatest your mum joke of all time. <laughs> Your ma would make a solid Ahmed Jalili tribute act. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, she's going to wear that and I'm going to have to explain it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Because you're bald. Because <laughs> you're bald, fat and Asian. <laughs> That's what he meant, in case you didn't catch it. Like a fat Iranian <laughs> Jada. God, he's going to slap me in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Is your bald? No. <laughs> Dad's got a ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he kept that quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you be? Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny you seeing the material. Just trying to do his voice. <laughs> <laughs> like just being like full on black American. Yeah. <laughs> I like putting voices on in my set. Mm. Do you know what I mean? I think you get away with it a little bit more. What type of voices? What? What type of voices? Well, I do. I, I do a office woman, and it sounds like generic gay. Mm. All my women sound gay. Yeah, 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 like gay men. I think that's the goal to You do voices as well. Yeah, yeah. What do you go to? Pretty much the same, I think. My yeah. women lunch just sound all gay. You do a voice for your whole set, really, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just for getting buried for this whole podcast, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck me. I've got another fucking set to do. Are we at an hour yet? Are we up to? Yeah, we got to go downstairs. No, <laughs> oh! oh, I'd love to stay longer. <laughs> 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 Yes, we that, that time again, baby. <laughs> where we're doing Plugsville, USA. <laughs> what? Plugsville, USA. Plugs, plugs. All right, plugs. Um, I won't have that. It been, it's made you look stupid there, you know. I won't have that. I, as a mate, you're looking <laughs> stupid there, you know. You've proper let Tony down you, by the way, today. You've not kept the comp. We've I'm never- so won't go over. I was on beat till six in the morning dancing yeah, in a nightclub on my own. Yeah, we've never. I've got bit in the head by him last night. I'm not having the greatest time. Yeah, oh, it tells. <laughs> it tells. Do you purse stuff? <laughs> um, <laughs> Take a tampon out of your purse. <laughs> what? what? No. No. <laughs> Like, everyone's going to be so confused why I'm sad. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> right, listen, normal service. Tony's smashing. Tony's smashing on. Callum's asking the Tony Cowell tribute. <laughs> 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 He's not putting much effort in, is he? 
Fucking absolutely smashed it, haven't I? Oh. He likes yellow, doesn't he? Uh, <laughs> right. I'm, I'm being... Let me... Go on, do it. No, I'll no, be you're going to be annoying I'm now. I won't be annoying. I'll be that good. <laughs> why, are you too, why are you making it a thing now? I'm not. Right, that's... <laughs> <laughs> and then you wrap up with professionalism. Professionalism. <laughs> that's, that, that's often. We're nearly good sound check now, guys. Right, right, okay. <laughs> that's it for Hot Water's Green Room podcast. I was joined by Callum Oakley as guest host. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. And Adam Rowe. Adam, uh, plug where you want to plug, please. Uh, so I host a podcast called Have a Word, which is so much better than this one. Like, it's infinitely. <laughs> Like, it's more professional. He's not there <laughs> very often. Um, it's just, re- it's really good. Uh, and you can find me on social media, Adam Rowe. I actually think you've lost Patreon from that. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sign back up to him. Sign back up. Don't, don't take it as me. This is my fault. It's my fault. Sign back up to him. <laughs> Uh, tickets are um, for the Have a Word Arena show, 9th of December. I'm announcing a work in progress show as soon as I'm allowed a date at Hot Water. I'm not even going to tell them I'm allowed a date, but I'm just going <laughs> to... July! July, motherfucker! Oh, <laughs> shit. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have a work in progress show. So come to that, please, when I announce it. I'm going to have two or three in Manchester as well. Um, Colin, how many are you delivering this week? <laughs> I'm so hungover as well. <laughs> she's got no energy for anything, and I've just been buried for a whole podcast. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, so, is this how many are you delivering? Callum Oakley comedy. What is it? <laughs> Just Callum Oakley. Callum, Callum Oakley. Yeah. Twitter and Instagram. He's got a great new purse, but um, follow him for that. <laughs> uh, we'll see you next week when normal service and professionalism is resumed. Thank you. Oh.